To what extent do you expect the new ways of working that came about in response to the pandemic will become a permanent part of the way your company operates? We certainly saw a lot of change during the pandemic. Um, of course, we moved very quickly to close our offices, which of course meant individuals had to you know, start working from home and we've obviously helped them establish those environments uh, in their home places across the region and across the globe. Um, in Asia, given we have started to see some rescinding of, of COVID in some of the markets, we have been able to do phased reopenings of offices. Um, but we do see, um, even as we're seeing people return to those offices, that we're going to have to do it in a more flexible fashion moving forward. Uh, so very much we're going to see different personas and different work profiles. Um, those individuals may spend you know, two days in the office, three days in the office, four days in the office, um, but it is going to be far more flexible as we move forward. And how much has your own leadership style and that of you know, your companies and the culture become more inclusive in the past 18 months or so? So diversity, inclusion, belonging is like number one on our radar. Um, and I think the pandemic has accelerated it because companies have needed to really understand and embrace um, all of the changes that have been happening around the world. Um, so we've got a really big focus um, on creating an environment where all of our employees can say they are safe, they belong and they matter. Um, so that's really been uh, permeated throughout our organisation. So we've set up a whole bunch of uh, capabilities to do that. We had a, a whole 24 hour period where we've done what we call the days of understanding, where we're trying to create more awareness of different cultures, different uh, genders, different challenges of different uh, subgroups inside the organisation, really to try to educate everybody, create us a, a more inclusive environment, more understanding environment. Um, we've also created uh, employee connection networks to foster those communications. Um, actually, just this morning I was on a, uh, a call with our Inter-Asian Connect team uh, looking at some of the activities we're doing in India to support um, you know, women and how they're progressing through their education into the workforce in India. Um, so these are all great things that I think we're, we're really focused on as an organisation and I think we'll continue to accelerate um, as we see into, into the future. And does your company have the strengths it needs, do you believe, to thrive over the next year? I think you know, on the business operations side, um, Equinix is in a very fortuitous position. Um, we're really at that hub of the digital connectivity piece and enabling companies to digitally transform. Um, and as of course with the pandemic, it has changed a lot of the dynamics to create digital as the primary focus. Uh, so we certainly feel in a, in a good position to help our customers and support our teams in creating that kind of environment as we move forward. And then what trait learning or new habit that you may have developed during the pandemic that you're wanting to take forward into 2021 and beyond? I, I, look, I think for all leadership teams and all leaders, um, 2020, 2021 uh, during the pandemic has been a great learning experience. Um, one that I'm personally going to take and I hope my leadership team takes is the empathy that we've learned uh, during this period. Um, so we've had staff and markets and different teams in, in all different sets of challenges depending on where they are. Um, and we've all learnt to understand that, we've all learnt to work with that better. And I think even when the pandemic rescinds, I would love to see that globally um, enterprises continue with that empathetic approach and we continue to execute and create a more inclusive environment for all of our teams.